Hello, welcome back to my channel. I am Jay Holloway. Today we have a review for one thing and a first impressions on another. This is gonna be fragrance, so yay. And the fragrance we're gonna be discussing is going to be Billie Eilish's Eilish, the first one, and Eilish number two. So, of course, going in chronological order, we're going to be discussing Eilish. Disclaimer. I've had Eilish before. I liked it a lot. I used it up. Hence the travel spray of Eilish. So, top notes are sugared petals, mandarin and red berries. Mid notes of soft spices, cocoa, creamy vanilla, and a base of sleek woods and musks. Now, this is the travel spray. I am going to act like I don't know what it smells like, even though I've had a 3.4 ounce and it is now gone. But, we're going to spray. And in a nutshell, this is sugary, musky, ambery. Very gourmandish in terms of sweetness. It doesn't smell like a cake or anything like that, but it's very, very sugary sweet. I like to wear it running errands. And I also liked wearing it to bed. Um, and then just sometimes, I actually craved it. Like, I want to smell Eilish. It was very, very, very sweet. And I really enjoyed it. And I'm happy that I have this travel spray. I think moving forward, I'm going to do travel sprays. But what we have now is going to be a first impression of the fairly recent rendition or second release of Eilish, and it's Eilish 2. It comes in a black bottle. Now, disclaimer, this fragrance has been out for a few months, but I waited for it to come to Ulta because I was not about to order it online. But number two, has top notes of bergamot, apple blossom, a mid of papyrus, black pepper, wild poppy flower, and a base of palo santo, ebony, and musk. So, we're going to see if it's giving all of that. I don't know what it smells like. When I saw that Eilish 2 or number 2 was available at Ulta, I just ran and bought it. Didn't even smell it in store. So we're going to be surprised together. So this is what it looks like. Okay. Now, we're going to see what it smells like. On paper, you know what I get? I get the papyrus, a hint of black pepper, the woods and musk. So, <clears throat> I was watching reviews on YouTube of Eilish number two, and people said it was like the masculine equivalent, which I can kind of see. Both of them technically I believe are unisex, but this one feels woody and musky, while Eilish 
the first one smells sugary sweet. And that's just on paper. But as it dries down, it's starting to give me like this generic men's cologne scent, which isn't bad. It's not bad at all. It just has like that regular cologne smell. Now, some people have mixed it. So, I don't know if that's what I'm going to do, but I am going to wear this on skin. You know what? Since we don't have anything, I took a shower. We're going to see what it's giving the skin. Hmm. This is musky... A musky woody cologne. But on skin, it slightly gives that remnants of Eccentric Molecule 1. The one with the Isoe Super. Hmm. Okay. Not bad. But it's very much that traditional cologne men's smell. Which, again, is not bad. Let's mix this uh, number one with it. Mixed together, it cuts down on the sweetness. It really cuts down the sweetness. It it smells different. Almost like a hint of when you mix Ani and Hockey Vibe. Almost. Like in that vein, like distant, distant relative. Distant relatives. Yeah. Not bad mixed, not bad on its own. So, if you're curious, of course, test them out for yourself. If you want to run up to your local old, local Ulta, excuse me, you can. You can try Eilish. You can try number two. You can buy them both, buy one or buy none. I'm happy that I have these in travel sprays. It'll give me a chance to play with them. But yeah, that has been my review on Eilish and my first impression on number two. Please like, comment, subscribe, share if you care, and stay tuned for more scented content.